I would like to use this little video to show how you can create an ebook using Google Docs. First, we need to sign into our Google account. Click on the Documents link so that we can go to the page that shows all of our Google Docs. And, and then we're ready to go. And we need to do a little bit of advanced planning so that we know how many chapters are going to be in our book and how we want to have it organized. Let's say, for example, we wanted to create a, an ebook on uh, professional learning networks. And just keep this simple, we'll uh, have two chapters in our book, one on blogs and one on using Twitter. So I know in advance now that I need to have two chapter documents and then a table of contents document. So first I'm going to uh, create the uh, table of contents document. I hit the uh, Create button. I go up here where it says Untitled Document, Enter New Document Name, and this is my uh, Professional Learning Networks document. I'll fill in my table of contents here. So my two chapters are going to be chapter one getting the most from blogs and chapter two using Twitter and I can do some formatting with this maybe center. Maybe I'll just highlight my and bold my chapters. With the table of contents I may not want to allow anybody to edit them but I do want to be able to send the link out so my students can access them. So I'll change, I'll go to the share button in the upper right hand corner and I'll change that share option to anyone with a link but I'm going to leave the editing option to just people can view. So people cannot actually change my table of contents, but they can come and see it, anybody I've sent the address to, and I'll send this address out to my students. Now I need to create my individual documents. So I'll go back to my Google Docs page again, create a document for each chapter. So my first chapter is going to be getting the most from blogs. And while I'm here I might uh, just fill in a little bit of an outline. I have an introduction. Finding a section on finding blogs on the topic of entrance, maybe a uh, a little bit on uh, using Google Reader, and then a conclusion, and then on each chapter I'm going to have a back to the table of contents link eventually. Now for the the uh, share properties for the chapters. I'm going to change that so that anyone with the link can access them. Then I'm also going to change the property to anyone with the link can edit the document. This allows my students to make changes in the document. And I'll hit save and I'm done with that document and I can go back to my Google Docs and repeat that process. Create a document, change its name. My second chapter is using Twitter. I'll put in a little bit of an outline. Let's 
setting a Twitter account finding people to follow um, whatever I want to, for my conclusion and then uh, again I need a back to the table of contents link and again this I want to be an editable chapter I want my students to edit it so I'll change my access to anyone with a link and anyone with a link can edit and I'll save those properties so now I have three documents one is my table of contents document one for each chapter now these are all web-based documents so as I am working on my docu document you will notice that they have each of the documents has its web URL listed in the uh, address bar of my browser so I'm going to go up to the address bar of my browser highlight it copy it because I want to make a hyperlink to that document from the table of contents then I'll go back to my table of contents and can't remember which chapter I was on I think I was on using Twitter highlight the anchor in my table of contents hit the edit link button paste in the URL and say OK and again I need to go to the blog chapter capture its address copy it go back to the table of contents highlight my anchor hit my insert link paste in the address to that chapter now what's left is to create my links back to the table of contents so I'm on the table of contents document here I'll copy its address go to each individual document and make a hyperlink by highlighting the text I want for the hyperlink hit the link button paste in the address of the table of contents document and do the same thing from my getting the most from blogs chapter this is the same hyperlink so just paste the same address into both of them with Google Docs the uh, documents are automatically saved as soon as I create them so now I should have a completed book with a table of contents that is not editable by anyone but me there's a link to the blog chapter a link that will take me back to the table of contents a link to the Twitter chapter and again a link that takes me back to the table of contents so I now have a complete book that is hyperlinked with navigation uh, so that my students just have to fill in the content that uh, they're going to fill into their book I hope this helps to uh, see how a book is set up with Google Docs.